Hey everybody, Alan Platt, we're on the Crowd One Cruise. Today we're in Sicily, it's an amazing, amazing place. We're sat outside the Champagne Bar on one of the decks, an amazing ship, MSA Bellissimo. But we've got something extra special for people out there in the Crowd One members. We've got the CEO who's got some time in his busy schedule just to say a few words for us. The CEO is Mr. Johan Stahl von Holstein. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Very nice to meet you. Great. Okay. of my name, my name for one. Did I do it good? Very well. Thank you very much. Okay, what we'd like to do now is, so is just give a little bit more background about yourselves. What we want to try and explain to some of our members, your know, potential future guests as well, you know, coming into Crowd One. A little bit more about your background and the vision of the company, where Crowd One is right now. So maybe if we could just start off with your background and how, how you came across Crowd One. Well, so a long story then. I started off uh, studying into an MBA and um, I then started working for one of the largest, most important Swedish entrepreneurial company called Shinnevik, which transformed Sweden into a uh, new modern world of uh, telecommunications, new media, uh, banking, a lot of different things. And I worked directly for the CEO and owner of the company. And um, I did that for five years and then I became an entrepreneur. I was one of the first internet entrepreneurs in Europe. And um, I was considered one of the most visionary entrepreneurs in the internet industry. So I was awarded technology pioneer at World Economic Forum and I lectured in all the major universities around Europe and the States and built three unicorns in the process. So first, uh, let's buy it, uh, sorry, Icon Media Lab, which I believe become the largest internet consultancy company in the world. I started with two friends, Eric Rickson and Jess Bolson. And uh, I then started the first uh, crowd a sharing economy company in the world with Let's Buy It which was a crowd uh, group of crowd buying. Uh, it was 10 years before Groupon basically doing the same thing. And then I started the largest incubator group called Speed Ventures, also with some friends. And um, um, we had tremendous success, um, put them public in stock, Swedish stock exchange and German stock exchange and American stock exchange. And then the internet blew up, as you know, and we took some beating. And I decided to devote myself to entrepreneurship in Sweden. And um, for many years, I was just debating and um, helping to start incubation to help entrepreneurs grow their companies. And I then moved to Singapore, where I started a company which my ambitions was to kill Facebook. This was in 2008, 2009, because I believed that we needed privacy ownership and control, because I saw value in each individual's digital footprint and the digital identity that we create for ourselves. And I thought that we should have the right to own and control and profit from the networks that we had online. I, with that company, I came out with one of the first uh, digital currencies there was, cryptocurrencies called, uh, it was called Tubes. It was completely different from the blockchains uh, ones that came out at the same time with blockchain. So I've been in this industry from another point of view than what we're doing now. So for many years, I've been looking at multi-level marketing. I love the idea of it. I love the idea of giving people opportunity to find products to sell, to make extra money or to become entrepreneurs and fully live or take a personal responsibility for their own well-being. But I've never really found a product that I thought was interesting enough for me to work with the vitamins or uh, nutrition complements or uh, shampoos it was never exciting and I didn't believe it was enough um, enough, what do you call it, um, it wasn't enough margins to give away to the people selling it, it was not unique enough to make me a real different to other products on the market, it was not yeah, substantial, a lot of meat it, it was just not trustworthy to be really long term sustainable, and I'm a very long term sustainable type of a guy, I want to build a legacy, I want to give something to my children, I want to build something that is sustainable over time, which is increasingly difficult as we, in the more and more digitalized world, you will see fast up and coming and falling down companies. But I think one of the ways of doing that is to create something that is flexible, dynamic and agile to move into new areas all the time. <coughs> so with network marketing, we actually based on the fact that the skill that you supply is the ability to sell things. Then you can be as agile as you possibly can because you can sell anything. If you leverage on your networks and establish strong and relatable networks, they'll be engine to sell products. Now the beautiful 
beautiful thing with the internet and the new digital area that we are increasingly coming into, starting with 1994, 95, is the new products. Because it's no extra cost for extra sold products. It is no distribution cost, no logistics cost, no storage cost. So the potential of giving away huge margins makes it beautiful for um, network marketing uh, perspectives. So <clears throat> when Jonas came to me about half a year ago and said, I've got it, I've figured it out, I've been in this industry for 15 years, I've tweaked and turned, I've painted the model, I know the algorithms needs to be done, and we're going to sell other companies' digital products, I say, this is it. We can now bring trade to areas of the world that has had nothing to sell. We can be able to push revenues of significance way down into the structure so that people will actually make a difference for them. You're always going to have people who can't sell. You'll always have people who think, I can't sell but turns out they can't. You always have people who are ambitious day one and lazy the next day. But you will have the people who commit, who passionately will sell, who will build and grow their networks, who will really drive value to their customers. Because the different products that we'll be selling will increasingly be important and increase um, trade, um, efficiency and um, whatever else, scalability to new group of individuals and even companies. And we're starting off with gambling. And why gambling? Well, it's not because it's the sixth most loved product in the world, it's because the gambling industry gives the highest commissions at this moment to find new customers. So we will be able to very quickly show and prove the ability to make money within the system. Um, but my long-term ambition and, uh, and hope is that what we do online gaming now, then we do actually gaming, video gaming, um, you know, Candy Crush type of things, you know, uh, World Feud or whatever it is, and, and other things that people are doing all the time that's not as badly conceived or perceived as you have with the gaming gambling industry, but also huge margins, huge potentials, and huge necessity of hitting, hitting, hitting critical mass quickly. But eventually, I want to sell educational programs, software to supply and, and then create other companies, uh, source products, anything where we can find abilities to, to cut costs, give good discounts to areas where they normally don't have the money to pay us, get these things out. We'll be competitors of the VC industry who are today monopolizing the ability to get a good product out of the market. So every day there's 20,000 apps coming out on the smartphones, which means your chance, even if it's a fantastic product, to get about the surface and get the people to understand that you're there and get into the field of expertise, into the having to use it, is very limited. The chances of succeeding in that is basically that you manage to persuade a VC company to put $100 million in your hands. Um, to do that, well, they look at the 1,000 products in a year, which is nothing compared to the 20,000 coming out every day, and they invest in five. And the rest of them, basically, they die or they're very lucky or they have a... But with us, we'll be able to, with millions of sale people reaching hundreds of millions of people through their social media networks, we'll be able to do what the VC company can't do day one, actively, with revenues, with happy salespeople. We'll be able to, it's, it's a game changer the way I see this over the long term. It will take us a couple of years to get up to the critical mass. I mean, the way we're growing now is fantastic, it's wonderful, but I see 10 million people on our network. Because 10 million people will reach, will reach 5 billion people on the net. Um, and that will take us a couple of years. And we have to go through the process of starting up with gaming com gambling companies, then gaming companies, and then other verticals, until we reach the fact where we will be a game changer for endless amounts of entrepreneurs around the world. And we'll drive trade into areas where they've had nothing to sell. We will actually we'll take people out of poverty. That's my long term. So the long term goal for me is to reach the critical mass of sales force. Maybe 10 million people who in its return will reach 5 billion through their connections on social media network, which is basically an entire world of smartphones today. The 
want mints or to entrepreneurs all over the world to get good products out there instantly without giving away ownership in their companies, doing it with a profit, giving huge commissions out to areas that previously have had nothing to sell, which means we will actually, we will come with trade. We will bring people out of poverty by giving them the ability to make money in their vicinity through their networks or through their social media contacts any way they want, depending on how hard they work and how much they want to commit. And um, I think it's a, it's a real game changer. It will be a legacy that to be proud of, and I think you know it's, it's going to take it's going to take just a couple of years to get the critical mass, a couple of years to get all these books. But meantime, people will make money, passive income for a very long time, and we will be able to with these with these commissions to bring the commissions out very deep into the structures. We will make a big difference. Making a big difference already. I mean, one of the things that I've noticed, you know, from the different people I've met with this cruise, is how Crowd One is already empowering people's lives all around the world. It's Africa, I mean, say, you it's Europe, and it's changing people's lives on a daily basis now. And some people, when they look at, say, when you hear 10 million, they think, can that be achieved? Well, we just hit over 400,000 people. In a, few, in a few short months, over 400,000, so we go out two years, that 10 million is achievable. We, we might be 450 before we leave this boat. Wow. That mean, that's it's, it's growing like crazy. Yeah. So, there are so many people out there. There are so many people in rural areas without a job, without an income, without any ability to participate in the Western world economies. What's, what's happening today is that the most, the most important companies in the world producing great quality products are producing them in the States and in Sweden and other first world countries. And they're selling them at first prices because they have first world ambitions to create huge companies. They never even reach the markets of these industries, of these areas in the world. We maybe should have them at a 90% uh, discount and we would still put a 90% commission on the sales on top of it and it would still make a big difference. It would then make a difference to everybody. So we're bringing through this really important good products to a part of the world that is left behind today. And the great thing there is, like you said, all the different verticals that could be added in the future. Building a super affiliate network worldwide, and like I say, you can reach the communications as well these days. It's more easy than ever before to reach people who maybe 10 years ago couldn't even consider doing it. Like I well, said, the actual verticals are in different product ranges over time. And what I think is really clever is the way that we're looking and really identifying the, the niches, the trends as well, like you mentioned, that we're down in the e gaming. Those are huge right now, and they're just going to grow bigger and bigger each year. So you can actually cherry pick, really. Once you've got that big database and you find your 10 million members in the crowd, one who companies will be asking you to market their product you will expect at some stage in the future. And you can choose which ones you think is right for the market, right for the market, right for the time. You and your friends, for yeah. who you are and what suits you. I mean, today, what's, what's happening? The VC companies put $100 million into an app in order to make that app big. The company puts that money in the hands of Facebook. It thrives on your network and puts the money in Silicon Valley. But now we take the money from Facebook and we put it in the people who have the networks to treat the company who products out. So I've been for 20 years trying to figure out a way to break the digitalized slavery that's posed upon us from Google and Facebook and their, their likes to get back control and management of a digital footprint, the network, to really be able to benefit from the, the values that we have in that. And I tried by creating a platform where people cook. Um, and I've tried um, to create with people who really do produce good content. It hasn't really worked because people are a bit too lazy. What I'm doing, what we are doing now, everybody here at Kuvet, is we're actually looking at who wants to make a difference in their own lives. It's the salespeople. People who believe I can sell, I want to change one, I'm going to commit. And we say, so instead of looking at people who has content or has, or we say, well, here's people who actually want to take control of their lives, to make a difference, or willing to commit to work, and they are going to make a lot of money. And the people who don't commit, who don't sell, I can't take a for that. And um, so, but here, if you work, and it's not that, you know, I can do it in two weeks, you can do it in five weeks, you can do it in a year. You can 
and get yourself good. We will have educational programs teaching people how to build a social media network, how to sell online, how to sell in your vicinity. How to, we will have the tools for people to learn how to sell and we'll get the products out there with a huge value. Many times sold at a great discount and still remaining an amazing um, commission for the salespeople. So it's, it's going to be, look, this is a lot of hard work. It's a long-term commitment for me. I wouldn't do anything that I, I couldn't see a 10-year horizon, a 15-year horizon on it. And, um, and it's a lot of hard work. It's a big commitment. And but together with, I've seen some fantastic leaders here who are as passionate about helping out and doing good as they are of making a lot of money for themselves, which is the natural way. But it's also important that I see the passion. I've seen Africans here who, who really see that we are taking people out of poverty. Which is absolutely fantastic. It's fantastic. And it's what, what I like as well about the film is you see the attitude of people. Yes. Let's say the people who have these crews to melt. I mean, it's the ladies I'm from South Africa who would see the stories as well. Absolutely outstanding. Yes. And what they're doing in South Africa. And but really, so even that 400,000, we're still scratching on the surface. There's lots of people who haven't even heard of them. That's changing every day. I think it's also going to be quite disruptive in, in, in the marketplace and the profession. Because, like you say, you can add in all the different verticals and, and put all these different verticals possibly even in the same conversation plan based on points. So people you know, might like one particular sector and sometimes we feel the need to move to another company if you see a different sector that's not working. Because here, yeah, it can all be added in within crowd one. So again, that can be quite disruptive in a good way. I have uh, because there's choices. You know, you see also that when I came in and stopped looking at this, I started looking first at the technology system. And I could see that people who had a big network could momentarily see how to do each game to the money was taken into their accounts. The system is so advanced that how it pays out the commissions almost instantly um, and how people can grow and follow their network and see where they are, what they've done. That to me, just the system is worth a huge amount of money because they've put 15 years of knowledge and experience and talking and planning and building it, which is impressive and I can see. So and I tend to <clears throat> talk about the long-term vision because that's what's really triggers me in my mind. But let's look at that in the short term. What we need to do now is to get these products out and really, really sophisticated and established brands so that we can't be criticized and that we're not jeopardizing the long term perspective with that. And and then allowing to show people what they are. But we will need long term commitment also for people. It's not gonna, you know, be fantastic day one. But just a few hundred thousand people are still just if you compare to many of these companies are looking at they want millions. Or will be millions. It's what are the um, um, what are the owner rights worth? Well, they will be worth more and more over time as with the stock of a company. And you know, when you go in and you buy a company at an early stage, you're hoping for it to succeed. We're in the process of building. It's not, it's, it's a soft launch that we're doing now. It's not, you know, it's not the big bang, the well established brand, the market. It's a soft launch. We're going to have to try and do trial and error. And we're going to push the boundaries, boundaries in front of us. And we're going to commit long term, passionately work. To, in order to create the world of a really good company. There's a great team of people around it as well, isn't it? Yes, we have met the programmers, and we have some of the founders, and the fleet of Sweden, and we have a few months ago, and we have some of the key leaders in Sweden, and we have as well. And we just want to wear this as we get out. Let's do this. So it's not something that I wanted to miss. But the great thing is, there's a lot of high caliber people within the program, and you've also got high caliber experience people in the field as well. Who sometimes have dreams and down to the profession and they've been looking forward and waiting for something to come where they can say, hey, this is what we do believe is long term vision. And that's a lot, that's key for a lot of people when they're looking at maybe transition from one company to another. So, okay, sir, well, it's been a pleasure to have you spend a few, a few minutes of your time with us today to help explain to people the power of Crowd One, the caliber of people in Crowd One. And again, you mentioned a few times earlier about some of the business you did, you really did it ahead of the way. Like I said before, we want to call all the good things to see a vision of what's not just there now, it's for what's going to happen in the future. So again, having somebody like yourself with the experience that you've got, heading the ship as CEO, is obviously fantastic for the company. So you know, we do appreciate everything that you're doing behind the scenes. I know it's probably working long hours, you know, getting everything in place. This cruise has just been an amazing, it's been amazing. We appreciate everything the company's doing, and I know they're looking at doing more cruises.
next year as well. Which we want to be on. We want to be on these cruises. We, we are committed. Commit. Yeah, we are, we are. We are committed. So I uh, respect your time. I uh, wish to say thank you for everybody as well who's tuned in to have a look at this uh, short interview with the CEO of Crowd One. Crowd One is exploding around the world. Do not miss this. If you come across this on the internet, find somebody who you wish to reach out and maybe you've got some questions, go get them answered and see if Crowd One's a fit for you. is a fit for you. It's definitely a fit with people all around the world on a daily basis. I'm watching the numbers, I'm watching the numbers to growing and growing and growing. And this gentleman is one of the big reasons why this is so fast. So again, sir, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. I look forward to working with you in many years. Crowd One.